The battery market right now is completely saturated with cheap lithium iron phosphate batteries. And with cheap, you often get questionable build quality and grade B cells, which are gonna be unbalanced and will not cycle as many times as advertised. Now with inflation through the roof and tighter budgets, it's important to purchase an option that is still affordable but has decent quality. And that's where this one comes in. This is the Sycon 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. And I think this stands out against the others because this actually uses grade A EVE cells, an upgraded JBD BMS, and the build quality should be really, really good. But there's only one way to find that out. close. Okay guys, we have the battery outside of the case and first impressions are really good. Uh, first off, look at this huge conductor. This is a four gauge wire for the main positive connection. So really good there. We have our balance leads for balancing each of the cells. So those are all secured nicely and taped down in the middle. We have two seven gauge wires going to the negative terminal and the BMS. And these do look like EVE cells. Let's take a closer look at the QR code. So right here you have the QR code of the cell and I have an app where you can look that up to see what it is. So this is an EVE Power 04Q. It's 100 amp hours. It was manufactured in July 22nd, 2023. And you can even see the production line and the factory. So pretty cool information. It is a genuine EVE cell. Now these cells are held together with this tape here on the top and bottom to kind of compress everything. They do have foam in between each of the cells and a monstrous amount of foam on the outside to kind of compress everything inside the battery box. We have welded bus bars as well. Now on the top of the battery, you have your BMS, which is your battery management system. This is rated at 100 amps. You have your balance leads here that come from each one of the cells and plug in. You have a white sensor that goes underneath this plate. That's usually for high temperature shutoff. And then you have these black wires and these are usually for low temperature charging protection and they are routed over here. So I'm gonna to try to pry that off and see if we can test that out. So this is my setup to test the low temperature charging protection of the BMS. I have my adjustable power supply charging the battery at three amps right now. And this is the temperature sensor. I'm going to apply a cold temperature to it to see if it stops charging. Okay, so we applied the cold temperature and it stopped charging. So the low temperature charging protection did kick in. So now we're gonna warm this up. And once it warms up, it should start charging again. And there we go. So low temperature charging protection does work on the BMS. So now I have the battery and the BMS back inside the case. Now to seal this back up permanently, what I've done before is just put a bead of silicone on the inside of the lid and then stick it down permanently. But this is just sitting on there for right now. And for the most part, you can't even tell that I opened it up. There's just a few pry marks that I made with my screwdriver. But overall, I was very impressed with the build quality of this battery, but build quality isn't everything. What about the actual performance of the BMS and the cells inside? Can we get the full rated capacity of those batteries? And can we pull the full power of 100 amps without it turning off? Now, in order to test the capacity of the battery, I fully charged it up, and then I connected it up to my inverter with an inline shunt to track all the power going out of the battery. Now, when I started this test, I was discharging it at a 0.2C rate, which is standard, and almost after five hours, it shut off the inverter from the battery being dead, and we pulled a total of 103 amp hours, or over 1,280 watt hours. So we pulled over capacity on this battery. Now, after recharging the battery, I wanted to see if it could handle 100 amps continuous, so I connected up my inverter with a 100 amp load. I set a timer, and after 10 minutes had gone by, it was still running 100 amps. So this battery can definitely handle 100 amps continuous. So this battery has really good build quality, and it performs as advertised, but what about the price? Is it an affordable option? Well, currently, this is priced at $229 at the time of this video, and they have an active $20 coupon to bring the price down to around $209. Now they did mention that they'd possibly be able to get my viewers a discount code. So if they did, I'll include that down in the video description to get an even lower price. But guys, that's really, really good for a battery that actually performs well and has EVE cells inside. Now there are so many different use cases for a battery like this, but I thought I'd show you guys a project that I've been working on a while. 
I have this enclosed trailer that I got just completely bare bones and I almost have it completely set up and I've been wanting to use a battery like this to power the whole thing. So the power needs for this trailer are pretty simple. So I think this 100 amp hour battery will work really well. First off for airflow, I have this max fan that I installed. Uh, pretty overwhelming cutting a hole in the roof, but the install turned out pretty good. Next, I have these 12 volt lights. There's three of them. There's one there, one in the middle, and one in the back. Now I do have plans to possibly insulate the ceiling, but I haven't gotten around to that yet. Now all those are wired into these switches over here. And then to power the entire thing, I have the power center. So I have a solar charge controller. I have where the battery will hook up to all that and a fuse panel. I probably will add a few USB ports and a place where I can plug in a 12 volt fridge, but um, lots of work that has been done to this trailer. Um, basically I added the E-Track and reinforcement there. Um, I've added the E-Track to the floor. I epoxied the floor and painted the whole thing. This thing was super bare bones, but uh, now it looks pretty good. Pretty proud of it. Okay guys, this is pretty exciting. Ton of work has gone into this and now it's finally connected up. So um, I have this strap to the floor using a strap through the holes on the lid. It's really secure. Now let me just go over this system really quick. So I have this Bujar V 40 amp solar charge controller. And then I have an inline fuse on the positive line and then that connects up to the main positive and negative terminals. Now as for solar input, I have this pigtail. Um, probably down the road, I'll put solar on the roof of the trailer, but for right now, I'm planning to use a portable panel that I'll just you know, connect right up to that. Now to power um, all the other stuff, the fans, lights, and all that, I have a fuse block. Now that's just connected positive and negative to the battery, and then all the wires go up through the wall so they're out of sight. So I just turned on the fan, and we finally have some airflow in here, so let me go ahead and turn this up. Okay, that's a ton of airflow, guys. So, pretty impressive fan. Um, I probably put in some sort of window for ventilation, probably one of these back corners, because I don't want to have the door open all the time for airflow. Go ahead and turn on the light. So, there's the light back there, one right here, and one right here. Now, being in the day doesn't really give it justice, but those are super bright. Now, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. You can see that there are just so many ways to use these batteries. They basically replace any lead acid battery. Uh, overall, very impressed with the Sycon 100 amp hour battery. I appreciate Sycon sending it out for testing. And it's good to know that you can have a, an affordable battery that has good performance, um, good build quality at a really good price. So I'll have the links to it down in the video description if you guys are interested. And if you guys have any questions or need any advice or consulting about a simple project like this, feel free to reach out to me. I'll have the link to ask me down in the video description. It's a simple consulting service that you guys may find helpful, but with a simple fee, you guys can get direct contact with me for a lot of different questions. Now, if you happen to like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Also, I recommend a couple of videos that you may be interested in. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.